It's Dear Sony. It's you, not me. I might have changed a little bit as a photographer. Like, I've grown. I've kind of learned what I like, what I don't like to shoot. Um, but your unwillingness to change is what is causing this breakup today. Your inability to say, hey, our shooters requ require and demand a better user experience on our cameras is what's led leading to this breakup today. So what I mean by that is, let me switch hands. What I mean by that is, Sony, you had an opportunity with the A7R 4A and the A7R 3A to actually build cameras that had your new menu system. And had you done that, I can guarantee you, I would still be with you guys. And now I've sold my A7R 4 and I'm now waiting on the stock of an R6. Why? Why did I decide to cut a third of the megapixels in my camera? It's because of you, Sony. It's because of you. Your inability to recognize that your users need more and your users deserve better. I'll explain here in a minute. All right, so what do I mean by that? What do I mean by Sony, it's you, not me? Well, what I'm trying to say is, Sony, you had opportunities to take serious criticisms that you've had about your cameras. For example, the menu system on the A7R4, the A7R3, the A7 III, the A7C, the A7S2, the A7R2, like I could go on and on and on, is atrocious. It is a convoluted mess of a menu system and you've addressed it with the A7S III, the A7, or not the A7, sorry, the A1, maybe the A9 Mark II, I can't remember. But you've not done anything since then. But you've come out with cameras since then, but you've not put that new menu system in those cameras. So we're now left going, well, do you have a new menu system or do you only have a new menu system for two cameras? You say, oh, your processors can't handle it, but I don't buy that. You're either good at making what you make or you're bad at it. And right now, I think you're bad at it. You just, if you can't make a simple tap on your menu system and your processor can't handle that, that means you're bad at making processors. It means your tech is not as advanced as you think it is. So that's number one why I have an issue with Sony and why I'm officially switched over to Canon. All right, so the next thing that I've got an issue with from Sony is their sensor tech. They claim to always have the most advanced sensors and while they have pretty damn advanced sensors, one of the things that I've kind of realized is, yeah, you can have the most megapixels, you can have the fastest camera, but if the image quality suffers because of that, then it's not a good camera. Um, one of the things that I've noticed with my a7R4 was even though the files were detailed, you had tons and tons of resolution, I could crop for days if I wanted to. One of the things that I realized is my low light capabilities of the camera were absolute trash. The colors, naturally coming out of the camera, I started to kind of realize I didn't like them. I wanted something a little bit better. I wanted something that was going to be not more natural maybe, but more pleasing to the eye um, and kind of fit what my aesthetic is for my photography. The Sonys just aren't providing that kind of out of camera. I have to do a lot of work with the files, which that's fine, but if time is money, I'm wasting time, which means I'm wasting money. So the sensor tech, while cool, it's cool to have it say, I've got a 61 megapixel camera. I didn't find that the images were any better than when I had like an A7R 3 or which was 43 megapixels or my Canon 6D. Like I didn't find that it was any better. What I did find better was the autofocus system. The autofocus system on that thing is insanely good. It's definitely better than the Canon EOS R that I'm filming with right now, but it's not better than the R6 that I'm gonna be getting. And just by selling the A7R4, I will have enough money 
to buy an R6, a 16-35, to F4, the EF lens, I've already got the adapter, and a 50mm 1.8, and I might even buy a Canon M50 as a nice little vlog camera that I can take on these hikes with me that's smaller than, say, the EOS R. Um, I'll still keep my EOS R, but I'm not going to be taking it on the hikes if I don't have to. So, you know, it's kind of one of those things that Am I getting my bang for my buck just to have a 61 megapixel camera? I don't think so. And if that 61 megapixels isn't doing anything extraordinary for me, you know, I'm not printing incredibly large. I'm not cropping in insane amounts. If that 61 megapixels isn't doing anything for me, okay, do I need it? And my answer was no. So again, it's you, Sony, it's not me. I do want to say, as I sit down on this very wet log, um, Sony isn't all bad, right? I still think that their image quality is really good. I just wish it was better than what it is for the price that you pay for the megapixels you get and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think that their video quality is still one of the best video cameras out on the market outside of a cinema camera. So, you know, as far as a hybrid camera, I think they're still one of the best. It's just not for me anymore. Um, I think I'm going to switch over, I, well, I am switching over to Canon, it's not even a think anymore, it is, I am switching over to Canon, and I'm not here to bash Sony, I'm just here to kind of say, Sony, come on, man, listen to the people, uh, that's all, yeah, no, no ill will towards Sony, none whatsoever, I know I might have been a little harsh, um, but, again, no ill will, I still want the best for them, I still want them to succeed, I just can't shoot with them anymore. And that's just kind of where I am. I've been with them since 2013, since they came out with that A6000. And I loved that A6000. And that's what made me want to switch over to Sony away from Canon. Um, but now that Canon's caught up in the technology, it's just, I like my shooter experience, my user experience on Canon better than I do on Sony. So that's, me, that's it for my ramblings about Sony. Um, that's my... Uh, breakup letter, if you will, to Sony. Uh, nothing terribly serious, just something I needed to get off my chest. That's all. So we're going to finish up the hike, see what else we can find. Um, I know there's a quarry at the end. We'll see if that quarry has anything to photograph. If it doesn't, I know there's a picnic bench there. I will um, sit down and kind of give you guys my final thoughts on anything. Anyways, until next time. All right, so now that I've kind of finished the hike up a little bit, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my final thoughts about the Sonys. Um, if you shoot with Sony, I really respect you. I'm sure you take some absolutely incredible images. I mean, some of my favorite images I've ever taken were taken with my Sony cameras. Um, and I don't want to take anything away from Sony. I don't want to harp on Sony. I just feel like there's a couple of things Sony has never addressed in the years I've shot with them. And I'm kind of tired of it. I'm kind of move, ready to move on from some, to move on to something else. It's just kind of become too little, too late for me personally. And again, these are all my personal subjective opinions. If you love Sony, again, shoot with Sony. You will never ever get a bad image with Sony. Like you will always get good images. Let me rephrase that. Let's let's rewind. If you like shooting with Sony, stick with it. They're fantastic. They're just not fantastic for me. Um, so uh, that's my breakup letter, Sony. I love you, but do better. Anyways, without further ado, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I promise not all the videos are going to be all sad and as this one was. Anyways, peace.